maybe get stuck in one. Yeah. You also directed the the promotional video for the song as well. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about where that was and, <laughs> and the people in the background. Well, yeah. I, I mean, again, that's that's. It's an awkward one because it's a bit weird, isn't it? Really, you look at it, you just go. You, you, when you when you first watch it, it just kind of looks like an old kind of something old, doesn't it? Again, like you know, like the song, it sounds like something old, but you kind of know it's not. And then if you actually start watching the video, you're you're saying, wait a minute, there's like a clown in the background, and then there's like girls in stockings and all sorts of weird stuff. But and, and we actually recorded that. That was the day of your gig in York, wasn't it, at the venue? So like. I, I, I said to Matt, look, we, what we need to do is we just need to get very crazy kind of British people, or a lot of British people are crazy. Let's round up friends of like the Black Skies who were your backing band. You know, uh, anyone you know, anyone I know, just get them in there. Let's get them all drunk. Just put a bottle of scotch yeah. on each table. Real, Let's real, get them all hammered and then, yeah. and then just shoot Chuck and Leroy in the middle of it. And, and it kind of worked, didn't it? You know. It, yeah, I, 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 I befriended a girl called Amy about three or four years ago through mutual friends, and I knew she was a performer that did like fire breathing and all that stuff. And when you, you said to me, "I need, I need some interesting, crazy people," I was like, "Well, she'll know a lot of people." So I said, "Oh," and she was, she can spread this message out, and then people just turned up dressed as clowns and like crazy stuff, and it was like there's no purposeless, but it's brilliant because it's. It's got a surreal. But it, but if you actually if you actually sit and look at the video, like my, like my son, like he's sixteen, he was like, "There's a Stereo MCs poster on the in the background there," and I was like, "Well, Stereo MCs is a very British band, isn't it? You know, like so you kind of there are little things that kind of give it away that you're not in America, but you have to carefully look, I think, you know, which is a good thing, really. I don't yeah, I don't know how your fans will take it, but. Yeah, and it was shot in the Crescent Social Club, so it's a, a, a Northern English social club. Working man's club, yeah. Which is a working the, man's club. The, yeah, the, the, the people throughout from the 60s onwards would be would be playing. They're the places that hold, you know, two, 300 people. It's for the working class guys to go and be entertained. So those are the types of venues that back in the day, the Beatles may have played, Tom Jones, Shirley Bassey, those are the types of places it would. So, uh, I, I, like, we grew up in those kind of clubs. You know, yeah. that was that was what was around. Yeah, and that's what you get. My grand was a barmaid in one, my local one. So I used to go there like literally every weekend. You just see so much music in there, like like Matt said. You know. Awesome.